another fucking session with the Truffle Brothers of Bodybuilding. Uh -huh. We are here, nine o'clock, mate. Nine o'clock leg day. The shit you do for obviously going and seeing clients at shows. So today we are traveling down to London for the Two Bros Regional. Um, we are here in Newton Fitness. This is where Kieran trains all the time. Got amazing Panata kit. It's got uh, everything you need. Obviously, really close knit gym. Um, Mo, who owns it, great guy. He's competing this weekend as well. So, gonna get after it. Gonna get a good session in. Um, I could say nine o'clock in the morning and a four hour drive. Fuck it, it is what it is. Nice. Cold. One more. Oh, come on. It's too easy. Easy. Strong, bro. Oh. Nice. Oh. Come on. Come on then. How many? Uh, two more. One then. Uh, One more. Uh, and again. With you. Uh, yeah. Right, fucking yeah. let's go. Right, let's have it. Right. Yeah, let's go then. All quads, all quads. Nice and slow, big drive. Easy now. Come on. Three, let's work now. Four. Five, let's go. Six, again, right, easy two. Seven, let's go. Eight, you've got ten here, two more. Last okay. one, last one. Oh. Yep. Rack it, keep your legs up though, keep your legs up bro. Keep, keep, keep the blood in, make it harder. So, two seconds in the hole. Yeah. Explode out. Mm -hmm. When you're ready, big dog. One, two, three. Okay, okay let's go. go, let's go. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Good fucking pause, right? Right, good. Pause. Yep. Nice. Hold. Up. Oh. Yep. Easy to. Come on, it's work now. Hold. Up. Oh. Yes. Come yeah. on. One more. Last one. Make it hard. Drive. Oh. Good set. Just uh, new equipment in it, so you're like, eh. When you, when you break it, the knees are leg press. For some reason, this, like, just, he wants to attack you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm saying. In the, it's like, in the hardest bit of the motion, yeah. they've made it the heaviest. Yeah. It's like they haven't realised that it's going to be really hard it's here. It's very fucking humbling, mate. That's what's nice about it. You don't get some cut loading leg press. Yeah. Control. One, two. Push. One, two. Control. Oh. Middle. One, two, slower, oh. down, control, ah. control, fight it, fight, 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 one, two, two more yeah. now, control, control, one, two, drive, one more, no, that's one, that's one, oh. check it, heavy for you, yeah. just keeping that bump, bump. I'm, I'm the same, I've always been the same, so I just think, the same, get the blood in, I think you're just getting best of all worlds. Yeah. Like, this is the thing with as well, it's like, oh, you couldn't control that. I could. Well, I could easily control that. Yeah, you'd be get 10 to 12 reps. Yeah. What's, what's better? I don't know. Any, I both, just, really? You're smashing yourself well, either way. Yeah, I think from the putting blood in the muscle, yeah. keeping it on like that, yeah. my legs just blown up. Yeah, in some, in some respects, it makes it harder. Yeah. Because it's, it's constant. constant. And you can't get rid of that pain. No. So if you, as soon as you lock out, your pain's gone. You have a breather. Yeah. You want to do another rep? Like power, power fucking building rep. Yeah. But they both warrant. I think they both have merit. Yeah, I trained with Jack once doing legs. Jack Conte. Yeah, he's a strong bastard, obviously. And uh, got on the hack squat. He had like eight plates aside or something. Every rep, 15, 20 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Another rep. Because he's a power lifter. And I was like, you know, I can move that way. I'll go for it. Because I tried to do my reps, <laughs> fucking hell, like three reps, I was yeah, like, yeah. I'm done. So the discussion me and Kieran were just having then is about the first set that we did, 
was a heavier load, slower negatives, more controlled. And the reason being is because you've got to respect the amount of weight that you're using. If you start to just pump out reps, you're going to, with a heavier load, like a, a, a say a eight to 10, you're going to look at like avoiding injury. So when we get down to like five plates now, we're going to do continuous reps for 20 reps, just to gorge the legs full of blood. This is the same as well. When a client comes to me, like say for example yourself or anyone who's like got an unreal shoulders. I'm gonna take some of the volume off your shoulders and put it somewhere else so you can record like you can't be like it's not rocket science bro is it? Do you know what I mean? People not big shoulders sound but not the, that big legs, right? Do more legs. The same, shoulders. the same thing as like if you've done FST sevens on there, right? Then come on to here, do your heavy work because your body's already fucking warm. Yeah, yeah. Your knees are warm, everything. Yeah. And then you go to your blood volume on there. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? It's like you've kind of warmed up, got some blood around the area. You've fucking ripped rip the fuck out of the muscle. Heavy work. It's all torn now. Yeah. And now, now you've got to get blood back in the tears. So I think doing. The only, thing I, the only thing I would say is the reason I do hacks last is because I get so, I get so fucking strong. I get so strong. Yeah, yeah, you just fuck your ligaments and your joints. I just can't. There's no point. Yeah, yeah no point. Same with anything, really. You know, yeah. chest, I'll do a fly first. Yeah, yeah. No way I'm going to do a press, yeah. If I look on the Instagram, I did a post about it the other day. Okay. Easy now. Let's work, Ryan. Three, let's go. Four. Come on. Ooh. Let's go. Yes, come on. There's five. Six, what you got, bro? Easy now. Class. Ooh. Class. Ooh, come on. Everyone up. Ooh. Perfect work. Strong, mate. Ooh. Come on, then. Let's go. Oh. Show us. Oh. Nice. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, come on. Yeah. When doing lie down hamstring curl, you need to make sure that your hips are glued to the pad. So the only joint that's moving is from your knee. So you can fully contract the hamstring without bringing any stretch reflex and without moving at the hips. Right. It'll be 10 times harder. You'll literally do half the amount of weight, but you'll get twice the amount of activation and pump. One of the key things I would say as well to think about when you're going to train legs is nutritional timing. So we was at Kieran's before. We probably anywhere between 90 minutes to two hours before I train legs, I'll have my pre-workout meal. Again, we don't want to be sat in the stomach heavy when you're squatting and leg pressing. I see a lot of people like, oh, I was sick on legs. Probably not because you train that hard. It's because you still had food that was undigested in your stomach and then you was pressing against it, training legs intensely, and then you screwed it up. So just think about that when you Obviously, setting your pre-workout meal out. Actually, this is a valid point. <laughs> One thing that I would have focused on when I was younger, if I knew I was being a competitive bodybuilder, is actually hinge movements and hip thrusts. Because the more muscle mass you've got in an area, the more body, less body fat you've got to, to get leaner. So I think you're hearing absolutely hammering glutes because we need more muscle mass. Because when you diet down and the muscle's flat, skin can become loose and it can look like you're not as lean. Um, so having more muscle mass there, you'll see some of the top guys in the country. Massive glutes, just to name a few. Like Scott Titan, Magic Eye, Jay Davis. He's like, their glutes are peeled. The giant. Yeah, the giant. Joe. They've got so much muscle there. So I wish I would have added these in for my leg day from day one. So that's a good tip for guys who are just starting out. Would you do the same? 100%. Yeah, mate. I never knew how to do hip thrusts. But the thing is, as well, though, you think about it. back in the day, hip thrust was done on a barbell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they've got machines. So if you had big glutes back in the day, you were fucking full of Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of people, you, including me included, glass back. Yeah, yeah. Nice, it's full in an off season. You can't pull from the floor, it's impossible. And you've got to think about the, the waist and the size, the size of your waist. Like, yeah, the you, trade don't blow, you don't want to blow your waist. And that's the other thing, as well, mate. You just mentioned then all these guys with big glutes or whatever. They've also thick around the waist. Well, the giant's not, but he's six foot six. We couldn't be thick around the waist at <laughs> six foot six. But yeah, now they've got these, 100%. Fuck. 
floss. When she wants to get that extra bit of dick and you run out and just fucking boom! Power <laughs> shots. Boom! Boom! Bust the pelvis. Boom! Pelvis busters. Two. Three. I'm done. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Legs wrapped up. That's the earliest I've ever done legs, but we absolutely smashed the session. As you'll see on the video, obviously a lot of that are just working towards Kieran's volume. Um, now we're going to head to Braywick. Is it going? First, we need a coffee first. Oh, yeah. And then obviously get Mark tanned, checked in, weighed in, and then the carbon starts. So, um, ready to go? Rock and roll. A gay old time.